Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. My name is Steve and today I'll be reviewing the movie The Mask of Zorro with Antonio Banderas, Anthony Hopkins, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Stuart Wilson. Uh, I've seen this movie one other time, I believe, around the time this movie came out. It was a while ago, but as I put it on, I started being like, oh, I remember that, oh, I remember that. I remember him. Uh, so, a little quick summary. Zorro, who is Anthony Hopkins, uh, pretty much uh, fights with his nemesis and he, which is Stuart Wilson, and he ends up uh, getting imprisoned and his nemesis, Wilson, takes him to, or takes his daughter from him and raises her as his own and a few years later he breaks out of prison and goes after his nemesis and also brings Alejandro to be the new Zorro trains him and everything like that to be the new Zorro and brings him to help him get his daughter back and get revenge on his nemesis so it's a this is a very very entertaining movie it really is. I freaking love this damn movie. So, first things first. Anthony Hopkins and uh, Antonio Banderas did a freaking great job. They like they meshed together really well in this. I really enjoyed them. Antonio Banderas, this is probably one of my hands-down favorite performances by him. This This performance, actually, by him is probably what brought his career to light like he's did he did stuff before this but this one right here man this was the this was the real kahuna man this thing this this was great it really was Catherine zeta jones does a good job she's freaking gorgeous in this uh i don't know the guy's name but three fingers three three crazy fingers dude that that guy is so funny in this i mean my favorite part in this is actually when uh the mierta brothers are getting transferred by crazy or uh three fingers and there's the part where the guy pushes banderas and um the guy pushes him, and then the brother pulls out the gun and is like, "The guy's like, hey man, how did, how did you? I thought your hands were tied." Well, that's because you're stupid. Uh, that the, that guy right there, that's supposed to be his brother, in that literally looks like Antonio Banderas does today. I literally was kept looking at it. And I'm like, Jesus, is that Antonio as well? Like. I know one, they, they literally kind of have the same look. I know obviously they want to be brothers, so they probably picked out a guy that kind of looked like him, but that literally looks like Antonio Banderas does today. So that was interesting. The fencing in this was very enjoyable. I really enjoyed the fencing. I really enjoyed the music. The music, there was a literally a part in this movie where I swear to you, the music was like, Red Dead Redemption, the first one, not the second one, the first one. There was a part in that and in this. And I mean, it makes sense considering Red Dead Redemption and this are kind of the same style. Like this was in Mexico City, which the freaking scenery in Mexico City is amazing. The damn structure, building structures are really cool. I might have to take a trip there because I really liked what I saw. Uh, But yeah, like I said, the fencing is really fun. This is a really, this overall, this movie is very adventurous. I love it. So I went to Disneyland at one point and we watched like a live action play, almost like the Water World. I don't know where that was, like Sea World, I think. The, the Water World live action play. That's what this reminded me of at times. Like watching this, I felt like it was literally like, 
they were doing everything to make sure the other person didn't get hurt, but we were trying to make it look as real as possible. I mean, I know that's what acting is, but in this, you could just tell it was so just like, oh, hang on, let me make sure I don't stab you. It was almost like WWE, but in a movie. It was it was funny, but I freaking, like I said, this movie is so fun, man. Antonio Banderas makes this movie what it is. This movie has a cross between so much, man. You got Three Amigos, you got Wild Wild West, you got Indiana Jones, and just Shanghai Nights, even Shanghai Noon. This just like a bundle of all those movies and <laughs> Mask of Zorro. But this is a very fun movie. It really is. Um, other than that, I mean, the writing in this is really good. As far as something that I didn't really like, there wasn't much. I mean, the only thing I could say is this was a little long. It could have been shortened just a bit, but even that didn't bug me to where I'm like, oh, this is terrible. I'm turning it off. No, it's a fun movie. Director-wise, I think they made the right choice. So, Martin Campbell, I've literally mentioned him before in some of the stuff I've done because I've literally reviewed some of the things. He's done The Foreigner with Jackie Chan. He's done GoldenEye with Pierce Brosnan and Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. I've seen all of those. Those are all top-tier movies. I'm not saying every single one of them. Well, I shouldn't say top tier, but those are all well-known movies. Uh, IMDb gave this a 6.8 out of 10. Sorry, my cat's trying to play in the window right now. That's what you're hearing. Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 83%. Dog Bones gave it a 3 out of 4. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed, really enjoyed. What, what could I tell you to get you to want to watch this? Antonio Banderas is a laugh riot in this. Um, Catherine Zeta-Jones is pretty damn fine in this. And uh, let's see. Just scenery, music. It's all good. By the way, the music is done by James Horner. For those of you that don't know who that is, he's currently deceased because of like a flying accident or whatnot but this guy's done stuff like the likes of Braveheart, Apocalypto, 48 Hours, Another 48 Hours and so much more. I was, going, I was scrolling down his list and I'm just like holy cow man I didn't know he did that. I didn't know he did that. I think he did Rocketeer as well. He's done a lot of stuff. This guy is one of the tops. I mean if you name the top guy you're talking John Williams. But this guy's up there. He's like Hans Zimmer. And I truthfully I don't care for Hans Zimmer as much as other people do. But anyways, I'm not trying to go off onto that. This movie was also nominated for two Oscars. I'm actually surprised it didn't win one. I mean, this was a very entertaining movie. A lot of swashbuckling going on in this. And this was oh man, so fun. Box office of 250.3 million on a budget of 95. So we're looking at what? 155 million? 155.3 million? That's not damn bad. That is not bad. Um, so the interesting fact on this one would have to be the a laser operation, Anthony Hopkins. A laser operation on Anthony Hopkins' back was needed for him to accept the role as De La Vega. I guess he was going through some back pain originally, so he was going to decline the role, but he ended up having an operation, which uh, it's funny when I read that, because as soon as I read that, I was like, wow, that's kind of interesting, because at times you could kind of almost see that he felt like he looked a little stiff, but... I mean, I'm glad he did this role because I am a big Anthony Hopkins fan. Like, he is in The Edge. I really like that movie. I haven't seen the, is it Hannibal movies? I haven't seen those movies, but he's in uh, the, the first Thor, and I think he's in the second Thor. 
he's in he's in a lot of stuff. I just don't remember everything I've seen him in. But one of the main movies I do remember him in was The Edge, and I freaking love that damn movie. Crazy movie, but I enjoy it. So that's all for today's review. You guys have a good day, and thank you for my new subscriber. I recently added my page to Facebook to kind of broaden my search of people to get some more viewers and whatnot. Uh, I'm up to, I think, 29 subscribers. So in, the, in just this past like three or four weeks, I've had four new subscribers. So thank you all. Uh, but other than that, like and subscribe. Keep checking them out. Don't be afraid to comment on my stuff. Like, I do respond, so I, I'm, I'm not going to leave you hanging. And check out my litter box. So also next up, I forgot to grab that. The next up one will be Young Frankenstein. So uh, stay tuned for that. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.